in another no right that was a step one factorization any expression in the bar step two is the most important moment now find the lcd uh, uh, one more time i want to repeat the rule of the lcd rule of lcd is you have to take every known repeated factor. Uh, you 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 take everything, but comma but when the factor is repeated, when some factor some factor okay, R in, in plural repeated you have to take you have to take majority the majority of them the majority majority of in our specific example we have two expressions we have this expression that contains, let me use another color, x plus one and x minus five. A x plus five, sorry, x minus five. It is it's repeated, x minus five is repeated. Uh, therefore, in order to find the least common denominator is, you take the non-repeated, and the repeated, you take majority, but in this case, no majority, because we have only one here, and only one, you take only one, no two. Okay, because you take two, it, this is not the least common, least common. You need to cover everything, but when there are repetition, no, you remove the minority and you take only the majority. This is my uh, least common denominator. Do you understand this or no? Everyone follow me? Yes. Yes. yes so. Now that step three is condensing these two fractions that we have separately and only one. And so you put in the denominator, the least common denominator. Okay, now <clears throat> the little bit confusing part, I know. How you determine the, the top part? Well, the top part is you mentally or mentally no here in the piece of paper you divide least common denominator divided by denominator one multiplication by the corresponding numerator one the same in the same fraction and least common denominator divided by denominator two multiplied by the numerator sorry two so basically when you let's let's do it in detail at least the first one after we are doing shortcut to super fast this common denominator in our example is x plus five, x minus five. <clears throat> denominator one in our example is, it's a coincidence, it's x plus five. This is denominator one, it's the same. It is x plus five, x minus five. Time, numerator one, the numerator one in our example is 10x. It's obvious. Everything is cancelled. And I stay alive, thing X. Think over here, thing X. Minus. Why minus? Because of subtraction. Right? And the original problem is subtraction. Now, in the second part, you divide L C D again, is X plus five. X minus five. Divided by denominator two. But who is denominator two? This is denominator two. Denominator two is just x minus five. Mo multiplication times numerator two. Okay, numerator two in our example is just x. Look. Okay. But this is cancel. And I stay alive, only x 
this x time x plus five. Yeah, I copy, just copy that. I copy x time x plus five. Everyone follow me so far? Yes. Yes, so look like understandable, huh? Okay. Well, we continue with the last step. It's super easy because the only thing you should do is remove the parentheses, apply distributive property, and uh, maybe combine or no. I don't see it. We have lighter. The five, the four, sorry, is the four. Is remove the parentheses 10x stay minus x squared minus 5 divided by uh, x plus 5 x minus 5. Mm -hmm. We can do something more or no? Well, I don't have idea, but maybe, yes, we can do something. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Let me see. I don't think so because uh -huh. I, I don't think so because um you you don't have the exactly like, the same exactly exactly very good. Ah, but just in case, let me verify. So I I pay my attention. It's supposed to be useless, but in this trinomial, I organize this trinomial like that minus x square plus ten x. Minus five. No, no. Factorization. Let me let me change the sign. So when this leading coefficient is negative one, I don't like it. You put a negative one in the front. X squared minus ten x plus five. And the factorization in this case is impossible. Because two numbers can multiply, give me five, five and one. And five and one never combine addition or subtraction, give me ten. So this is the answer. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's move on to the 65. 65 is more interesting. Okay, you, you understand the addition and subtraction is a little bit more complicated because we have more extra step. The 65 is 7x over x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus subtraction 28x squared minus 6x plus 8. It's obvious, it's obvious that we cannot combine 7 minus 28 the top part because the bottom part is different. So you need to express everything using common denominator, this common denominator. Okay, so what is the first step that you should do? Mm, step one. Look, look, looking on. for the grid. Say again, quickly, uh, slow down. Check, check the number that, that can give you um, the, the equation. No, this is no equation. Equation is when you have equal sign, okay? No equation, no equation, expression. Okay, I understand. I yeah. understand you. Uh, you can say, okay, uh, in show work, what is the first step that you should do? Factor the uh, bottom. Exactly. Exactly. Very well. Factor the bottom. Trinomial, trinomial. Trinomial, trinomial. X. X2. X, X. X and X. 4X. Uh huh. Whoever do factorization. The first one. Yeah, the yeah. first one is x2, and the second one, we, we can take x2. Uh, relax, relax, one by one. Let me try to do the factorization of the first. Forget about temporary, the second. What is the combination? Two numbers, I need two numbers. Two and three. Two and three, very well. Remember, I like to put the bigger first. I don't know why. What sign, what sign, what sign here? 